Brooklyn. I'm, we are here with Dope DoD in Detroit. <laughs> <This is> Peter's <laughs> Hall. Detroit, what? All the way from the Netherlands. That's Holy what's up, shit, man. man. Michigan State. <laughs> so yeah, my very first question is, what's your guys' own definition of hip hop? Man. Damn. Of I think yeah. everybody has their own, right? You know, I feel, uh, I feel like hip hop, to me, real hip hop is something that's raw, something that's real, something you gotta like feel, you know, something that's like from the streets, it gotta be from the core. Like, yeah, right, to right. me, hip hop came from the streets, so I feel like it gotta be about some real shit, and I feel like a lot of niggas out there, they talking about like, you know, like being rich and making money and shit, and I, I don't feel like that ain't the core of hip hop. Well, it's making something out of nothing, is what you're saying, right? Yeah. Definitely. Man. True shit. Yeah. I like that answer. And can we uh, get into the origin of your hip hop name, Jay Reaper and Skits Fishes? Where did you guys come up with those concepts for your Well, you know, I mean, y'all heard of the Sex Pistols? Yeah, yeah. Those guys. You know, you, you know Sid Vicious. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I had to give a little shout out. As far as for me, you know, I grew up on a lot of rock and roll, so I kind of put that white boy element into it, you know. Like, I like to I like to give the little shout out here and there on the rock and roll tip or the punk tip or whatever. Pretty, yeah, you, pretty. you shout a lot of different art. Yeah, 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 so, so, so it's, a, it's a little shout out, man, to the late great Sid Vicious on skits. Because, uh, I mean, I've heard uh, you reference, like, Keith Flint of uh, Prodigy. Exactly. And you know what I mean, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, tr I try and, you know. I mean, I'm a true spitter, you know? I don't really think there's a color related, but as far as me being white, I like to pay homage to those little things that inspired me, you know what I mean? So what would you say uh, your main influential albums you listened to growing up and how they inspired you? Inspired you, like, you know, your very first records. Mm -hmm. I gotta say, genre. my main influence that might be, that's probably uh, Black Moon. Okay. Uh, Who Can Click. Buckshot, BDI Thug, that's my shit right there. Uh, Black Moon, Enter the Stage. That was probably like the first album I decided to start rapping myself. Yeah. That's pretty cool when I heard that shit. Yeah. I'll, give, I'll give a shout out to one of our major influences and the ones in the house tonight were Onyx, hands down. Oh, yeah, yeah. We've had the privilege of working with these cats multiple times and there's more coming, so, you know, I'll, I'll keep it simple, man. Like, Onyx is where the hardcore rap is at, so. They're a damn good to my set. Brothers, man. Damn good set. I was hoping you guys would do that track together. I'm saying I was waiting for it. Oh, uh, we're yeah, we were wilding with them though. Yo, what's up, Sticky and Dro? Yeah, on the mad. But I, I, was, I was waiting for the verses for you guys for Wake the Fuck Up because I was, they came up. in. I'm all like, I saw you on stage. I'm like, I'm waiting for it. That's cool. You guys are just there representing. You know, it's oh, yeah. badass. Oh, yeah. And then uh, you know. Um, we can, you guys, we can get into this if you guys want to. Uh, over the summer, uh, Dopey Dope Rod departed from Dope DoD Dope Do -D because of setting health reasons, as for leaving, and uh, we do want to wish him a speedy, health, healthy recovery. But how did you guys learn to cope with moving on from a trio to a duo? Uh, it's, 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 it's pretty thing. easy as far as, you know, when you got records with three MCs, you tend to cut up the records to make them fit anyway so where you take two parts whether it was me and Jay or Jay and Dopey or me and Dopey now we just bring it to where me and Jay is at so it's, okay. it's really not a big switch you know I mean Rotten knows we handle that shit man shout out to the homie you know it didn't work out the way we wished to but that's still the family for sure yeah man you know, yeah. mad respect for him I, you know he had some pretty cool verses yeah. more, more than yeah that's the OG yeah. <laughs> and so uh, how soon will you guys drop another full length and any details on the album title and subject matter the new record will cover, if you can reveal that? Man, I'm telling you, there's a lot of shit in the making right now, but there's so much in the making, I don't even know what to pinpoint yet, so y'all just be ready for some new shit early next year. I can give you that for sure. Fuck we're working, dude. we're working. I'm man. excited, dude, because, like, you know, it might be my DJ. every album you guys drop, okay. like, you guys keep going to, like, a whole new level. Yeah. Okay, that's tight. I'm happy y'all figured that. Yeah. yeah, that's what we try and do. You know, we got, I think, for us, you know, you always try and grow with whatever project you do. You're not trying to do the same thing. So some fans might not understand the move immediately. They'll be like, I want some of the first album or the second or whatever. I'm going to tell anybody out there, we do dope DOD. So whatever it's going to be, it's going to be us. If we don't feel happy about it, if it don't feel right, we won't do it, but you'll always get what you want. 
if you're a fan, you know, for sure. Okay, dude, the Ugly EP was dope. Oh, I got, I nice. loved the road, dude. Yeah. I pre-ordered that. Oh, I fuck with Ugly yeah. I was going to get it signed, because when it came to me, I didn't know if it, if it was going to ship me properly, because I just took a chance on PayPal. I was like, whatever. I think it should come in. And then it didn't come in as the United States. I don't know. I came in like the Staten or something. Oh, shit. Yeah, I was like, what? <laughs> How do you pronounce that? Because I don't know how to pronounce that. The other way to say United States when it ships over here. Oh, Verenigde Staten. Yes, yeah, so there that's we go. The Staten, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I was wondering what that was on my mail. I was like, well, it, it arrived, and you guys all signed it, so I thought that was fucking sweet. <laughs> yeah, man, that's what's up. We, do, we, we all do all that personally, man. We're independent. And uh, I know you you work with the uh, Viper Syndicate on the Battle Royale AP. Is there any work or any, you know, more work you guys are doing in the future together? And any plans? The Virus. Yeah, for sure. I mean, they're the homies, too. So we got some shit in the works. They're doing a new record of their own. Got a little feature in there, so yeah, because it, it was a dope EP, and it'd be cool if you guys did like another, uh, another one or a full length or something. Yeah, we're yeah. Oh yeah, we ain't done, man. Shouts to the virus too, man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, those guys are really cool. See, that's the thing for the states too. Like, a uh, thing me and Jay are very inspired by too is the UK grime shit. So that's like this double time rap. It's kind of like the jungle, you know, the the it's kinda like trap. Yeah. yeah, you know, like they they speed it up. They throw they throw the heavy tempo in there, the energy, and that's our shit. Too. We just do it a little bit. I need to get more. But, you know, they're the neighbors, so. I feel like I'm missing out. Mm. Oh, man, you gotta check it out, man. You came massive as they say out there. You can't! I mean, I, just, I, I check out this group from the Czech Republic called Sodom and Gomorrah, and they're pretty cool. Oh, shit. They're like really crazy, like horror oh. shit, dude, but I thought they were pretty cool. I haven't heard of them yet. Yeah, you gotta check into them, man. Oh, yeah. Sodom and Gomorrah? Yeah. Well, it's like a duo. Yeah, yeah. They, 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 they rap in Czech, and it's pretty oh, cool. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's what's up. We'll check it out. Yeah, Czech Republic song. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, we got a, a video maker. We fuck with Michael Coons. He's from there. Yeah. We did a, a video a couple weeks ago, a couple months, Boiling Point. Mm. That shit was tight oh, too. They, fuck yeah, Boiling Point. They mess with us in uh, in the Czech Republic, man, in Hip Hop Camp, man. That's the biggest hip hop festival in Europe. We played there twice. Killing that shit. <laughs> you got it. Um, are you guys ever going to make a, you know, a track with Psycho Song from Psychopathic Records that you guys have been on tour? Oh, uh, yeah. Fuck yeah, I mean, we're down like a clown, Charlie Brown. <laughs> yeah, man, I mean, Psychopathic, they welcomed us like no other, man. We've done a lot of support tours. <sighs> But when you say the Juggalos and the ICP fam are our family, that's a fact, man. Like, everybody, you know, like the whole the whole tour family is just one unit moving together. We wild out when DJ Paul goes out. We'll wild, wild out when ICP do their set. They give the shout out, so man. Dude, they really respect you guys. I can see it on the stage. You know? Yeah. They shout out you guys out and everything, man. Yeah, and I mean, the love is mutual, man. So whatever Psychopathic would like to do with us in the future, I'm sure we'll be able yeah, to make a fucking yeah, deal, yeah. man. And, you know, with, and I know the uh, overall experience here with Insane Posse, Insane Con Posse has to be pretty po positive, you know, um, but what was your first thoughts that went through your mind when they were like, yo, when they invited you guys to fly all the way out here to tour with them? I mean, it, it was crazy, right? We did the gathering like like yeah. 12 weeks ago or some shit. It was in July, yeah. And you know, we were we were all like kind of, you know, like warned, like beware, you know, the juggalos, they either like you or they don't. They throw shit, firecrackers, beer bottles, whatever the fuck you're gonna get. You never know. Actually, we didn't get a whole lot of shit thrown. Ah. At one point, I was like, is this a good thing or a bad thing? Uh, ain't I supposed to be hit by something? But man, from, you know, from, from doing the gathering, that's when Psychopathic said, yo, we need to meet up before y'all leave back to Europe. And that's how we got on this tour. Yeah, I, was, I was excited that you guys were on the bill because I was like, I gotta see these guys, I gotta fly out. Like, I was like debating on if I should go out the home with you because I had a lot of my own shit to take care of. But I took a risk and I flew all out here from Montana. Which is, oh no, I mean, if it was a drive, it'd be like 30 hour drive, but it was only like a four or five hour flight. So okay, that's, that's cool. cool. Yeah. And I got to hang out with, you know, meet Scotty for the first time. I've been working for his website for like three years and I just finally met him. That's what's up. Yeah, yeah. man, it's love. Like I said, oh, yeah. man, you know, one thing led to another and the homies look out for us, man. That's all I can say. Grateful is what we are. And what do you guys find the most unique from within the juggle culture? What most unique artists? Uh, within within the juggle culture as like, a whole. Like in general, like shit. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's I a just, different I, I just feel like um, you know, like 
Cause what we do, like, that's like rebel shit. Cause we, when we perform, like, we like to get loose. We like to get, you know, hardcore with the people. And I feel like the Juggalos, they, you know, they're on the same wavelength. I feel like when we perform in front of the Juggalos, they, you know, they feel our shit, like, in the right way. The way it's supposed to be. And I feel, yeah, I, I think the Juggalos, they, they get us. Like, yeah, dude, I think they, they know too. what we about. And I feel like when I perform out there, I feel like we won. We, we, we like family out there. Yeah. Right, I, I can add to that from what I see. And that's, I think that's a, a thing that's more common in the States in general. But what I see in this juggalo culture is you see like generations getting like, you know, like inaugurated into, into the family. You know what I mean? Like they bring kids, you see parents, you see teenagers, you see all ages. It's like a religion. So I'm just looking at shit like, what? <laughs> what? What you, you came, you've been going to their show for 20 years? It's like crazy, you know? Once, I've, and like I said, I think that's a state's thing too. You have a lane for each particular thing. And if it's your lane, you're just gonna dedicate yourself to it. You know, people, they, they find, find out about you. I got motherfuckers walking up to me like, yo, Skits, what's up? I'm like, you know my name. I'm, I'm, I just broke ground here in the States, but you actually know my name. And that's that's an American trade. Y'all yeah, really dig into it. And I love that, man. In Europe, it's more formal. He goes, hey, I'm at a festival. Hey, can I get autograph? I don't know your name, but I saw you on the stage here. They know exactly what the fuck you're up to. You know, so what, what, the up, what you're up to. So The main difference is between touring here versus the Europe. Europe. Yeah, well, yeah, like I said, Europe, they got love and, and, and they I dig it, and, but they're more like a general crowd yeah, here. They more, really yeah, dig into formal, something yeah. and they, they seek for a style, and if they fill it, they're going all the way for it. Yeah. And I love that shit, man. And especially y'all uh, jungalos do that. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, what was the most wildest moment you uh, you witnessed at the gathering? You guys uh, yeah, the just wandering around. What's the most? <laughs> probably that one time at band camp. <laughs> <laughs> now that one time in Houston, I remember one man he got his dick stuck in the backstage. I don't know about that shit, man. And we had some motherfucking cops coming up to us. Yeah. <laughs> I, I made it though. Right? I'm, a, I'm a free bird, baby. <laughs> it's like it, man. Yeah, you're being open about it. Cool, yeah, but <laughs> to break it down, simply is that like he almost got arrested for getting his dick sucked in Texas. That's and, right. uh, what are some other bands that you would like to tour with? You know, your idols that you like to tour with that you haven't got the chance to yet. Shit. I gotta be honest, like we, I mean, we toured with a lot of acts. You know that you know. I've been dreaming about like Limp Bizkit, Corn, ICP. I mean that shit right here. That's like a dream. Man. Yeah, for real, and, man. And we, did, down and we did that shit. Yeah, and, or, I mean, you know, and we did more shit. I mean, we 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 performed with Snoop Dogg. We performed with. Shit. Yeah, I mean, as far as because you said it would be a dream to, to you know perform with like uh, doing support things is really like it's a tough cookie. You know, mm -hmm. I don't think you really select something you want to tour with as a support act because it's always hard you're gonna have to convince the crowd once you do it though it's the shit because when they latch on and you kind of fight for your place but for me i'd never want to pick being a support act so i'd rather say work together with you know we had red man we had onyx we'd love to work with icp in the future you know like we became fans along this tour just checking their shit out and you learn from from looking at you know at, 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 at well, how do you what say? You know, the, yeah, you know yeah, the ones, yeah. the ones that did it so big. It's a huge inspiration. But as far as working together with, shit, I'm gonna pull one out of the hat. It's Busta Rhymes, man. <laughs> that I was, would be I was crazy. some Busta Rhymes shit this I, week. You ever do I know Busta gets down with new age crazy shit. You know, I, ridiculous I know. part three, Busta Rhymes. Yeah, right. Yeah. So, so, so <laughs> that's that, that's just one of them. I'd say not not like tour together with, but work together with, man. The conglomerate, homie. I see you, dog. Shouts out to Split Star. That's the movie, <laughs> yeah, that'd be crazy shit, man. What up? And what what main goals would you guys want to accomplish that you haven't had a chance to yet? She wouldn't want to take over the states, man. Yeah, that's, a, that's yes. definitely one. Fuck yeah, man. You said it. USA, man, get us booked here. We we ready, man. Are we ready. Salute. Fuck yeah, dude. And uh. A fan wanted to ask this online. He says, uh, 
Does Dope DOD do you think it's all right for a government to regulate the amount of food an individual, an individual can intake to reduce medical care expenses in a socialist health care system? I don't sure. know if you guys can even answer that. That's a good question, but I feel like, you know, back home in Europe and Holland, we got like, um, I mean, you got to pay for your health care, but that shit ain't too expensive and that shit is uh, mandatory. So everybody needs health care share. So I feel like they got to do that shit over here, man. Like, I mean, when you get shot and you go to a hospital, you need that help, man. Like, they can't, they can't let you die over that shit because you ain't got no health care, man. I feel like, you know, everybody is a human being and you need a chance to live. For sure, man. We're not numbers. We're human beings. And, and I, know, I know you guys like a reference of, uh, you know, different type of movies. Like, you, I've heard you reference Stanley Kubrick and lots yes, of horror movie stuff. Yes, Any advice you'd like to give the young, inspiring musicians just starting out? Yeah, man. It's, it's, it's a cliche thing to say, but if you know what you can do, and if you know if you know if you know what, what you're made of and if you know what you do is, is real and all you need to do is like you know stick to the plan that's basically it let nobody tell you different you know like there's gonna be a lot of people if you're coming up they're gonna tell you you might not be fit for that or that might not be the thing for you to do but if you feel that's that's what you're capable of you stick to your guns and Fucking sky's the limit, man, for sure. Oh, yeah, I love that. <laughs> and final shoutouts. And, yeah. and then uh, bonus question too, what do you guys like about the Halloween season the most? Since it's Halloween. Shit, shit, I like you know, I like the way I get down here in the US. Like Halloween, that shit that shit's like some serious shit over here. Like Christmas. Yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> And they and like we always say, right? They they worship horror out here. You know, like y'all, when it's time to go horror, y'all go horror all the way. I see, I see, see fucking bus buses driving around town with like Halloween ads on there. I see the TV flooded with programs about the origin of Halloween and all the horror movies coming. You know, like it's weird. It's like y'all, y'all, y'all bring the horror when it's horror time, and I think. Since our music fits in that lane, I think out here is where we want to get it, man. Right, this is Dope D.O.D. live from the USA in Detroit City. Vagolovers.net. Check us out, man. We love y'all motherfuckers, man. Woo, 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 woo. Blah. Blah.